update. Update. So update. how close do I need to have this to my face? So you got to eat that, mic Because this is the same it. PR40. Ew. Okay, so like... Keep going. Trying not to spill wine all over the floor. So ideally, Don't I would goat like... Don't it. What? Don't goat scrot it. I love goat scrot. I know you do. You love it. You love it. You know, I'm just, you? A, I'm, I'm just a goat Close scrot door, yeah. kind of girl. You do. I mean, that's well... It is known, Khaleesi. So uh, is this distance okay? Like, I can, I can eat it. You eat should it, but... eat it just a little bit more. I might have to get the other table. No, don't. I mean, like, you just you're well, just gonna have to lean in a little bit. Yeah, but this is like. Yeah. No. Well, I I can actually break my hand again. Oh wait, no, that's not the one. I thought that was a bird. No, there's. I'm like a bird. I only fly away. All right, Brian, can you give me? Can, can you give me give me some levels? All right, you kind of got to eat that, Mike. Also, maybe I should turn it on. That's a good idea. Yeah. Oh, uh, there we go. Yo, 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 yo. Hello. Fuck you, John. John you, you weak, weak <laughs> milk useless. toast. Milk toast. White. 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 White guilt. guilt <laughs> milk toast. Piece of shit. Piece of human garbage. garbage. That's what he says. Jeez, Gazorp Azorp Field. You're really mean to me. <laughs> now shut up and give me my enchiladas. I'm Gazorp Azorp fucking Field, bitch. It's, it's a funny comic because uh, the cat's more powerful than the human. Oh, yeah. Yeah, damn. Damn, girl. Yeah. You like that? You like what you see? You like yeah. the goods? No, that's good. Damn. Yeah. I look over and I'm like, look at them digits. Mm-hmm. Alphanumeric digits. Fact. Is what I mean. True truths. You're dropping. Uh, yeah, dude. You want to talk about some true truths? We fucking are. Fucking jury got on the fucking Rick and Morty hype train last night. It was, uh, we've all been holding a spot for him and it finally happened. Welcome home, Justin. If you were here. Here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, yay. <sighs> Egg Hunter. Egg Hunter. So, did Justin give you the format rundown? Mm -mm. So, basically. I was told there would be an interrogation. There will be. Uh, but basically, we open up with, like, boring wedding updates. Yep. Um, which sometimes are not boring. And then we go into topic and then wrap up. Did you check to see if we have email? Uh, you should do that because I don't have any in the doc, I don't think. Yeah. Nope. All right. I'll, I'll keep Ooh. an eye out. Wait, guys. When I'm looking. Oh, shit. I know. When I'm Let looking. That over there. When Justin no. Robert Young looks. He I'm looks looking in the, the wrong direction. So I got to flip direction. my camera. Yoop. <sighs> do number one spot do. for updates on the wedding of Justin and Ashley. There we go. It's Gazorbazorb Field. Gazorbazorb <laughs> Field. Oh, God damn it. This fucking camera. This fucking camera can't handle it. It was all set up. Yeah. With well. Exquisite tape solution. If you guys could see, like, we have a very expensive setup in here. Dude, it's perfect. We've got a. It's good. Got a sweet. No, it, it's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. It sucks. <laughs> okay. If I look over here, I'm looking at you guys. Mm. Red. Asinine. Awesome. Um, okay. Uh, let's uh, start recording. Check the emails. See if we have uh, an email to add. I will uh, pull it up. When right we... now, before we start. Can, uh, yeah. And add it to the doc. 
No, I'm not going to add it to the doc. I'm Why just going to read it to you because I don't want to copy and paste it because it's already fucking working and we already are like pushing it. No, oh, somebody's got a case of the Mondays. <laughs> Fuck you, John. Are you like a- You fucking piece of shit. You don't have to copy paste it. White. White. I mean, like, are you trying guilt. to needle me? Like, I'm trying milk to make fun toast. of you. I'm trying to. Mother. F- I am Gazorpa Zorpfield. Now give me my fucking enchiladas. Don't worry about it now. I was just kidding. Oh, we're mad on the air. Are you like. What what is the point of this? I'm mad at this chair. Like I'm I'm looking for fucking emails. I know. So are you just like fucking me while I'm doing the prep for the show? What? You're confusing me now. Let's start the show. <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, All right. You ready? Dude, uh, yeah, tell me when to engage and what to say. Yeah, no, I'll lead you in. I'm going to be all right. Um, okay. Well, that's down. All that's up. Let's go. Oops. That's the wrong one. Perfect. Hey, we'll start that again. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Draymore Podcast, the uh, podcast where we're getting married. Holy shit, are we? Oh, my God. Not keep, off yet. We keep getting more more married by the minute the way we're going we're gonna be double married by the time this wedding rolls around you guys are gonna be in violation of polygamy laws before you know it yeah they're gonna say you're being a a a pig of polygamy because you're so into this marriage thing Uh, 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 stretch uh, big big me Uh, i don't know yeah that's you're not small you're big big of me big of you I just showed up. I should have. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the voice that you hear is none other than my co-host on Night Attack uh, and Weird Things. And uh, really, I'm glad I have both my wives uh, here. Yeah. Really, this is Brian giving his his agreement that I can bring another wife well in, I mean, into you know, our polyamory. Uh, you as, know, as 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 menagerie. as our favorite show. You know, made very clear. Uh, Ashley and I, you know, went and had a conversation. We decided that our Self-esteem was low enough that we could share you, that uh, yeah. we could do a three-way. Well, sure. All right. Well, awesome. So, uh, yeah, Brian Brushwood, ladies and germs, <laughs> uh, he uh, not only been a friend to, to both of us, but really the hinge in which our relationship relies upon in terms yeah. of meeting you guys. Yeah, that's weird. I knew both of you guys before you guys knew each other. Yeah. Indeed. You introduced us. I was there. Tell you what, we're going to get into all that, but first we have... Update. Update. Uh, so we missed last week. Sorry, guys. We we're did. jerks. But we got a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff done, a lot of progress. For one... It was a fucking Christmas miracle. Uh, we got Justin's Battlestar uniform in. Yeah. And it fits him perfectly. If by perfectly, you mean the comically fatter version of me. No, uh, hold on. You say the costume makes you fatter or? No, no, no. It's just, it's large. I think we got it's it. It's bigger than you. We, 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 want, we wanted to go bigger when as you... opposed to smaller. Right. And so the difference between the small and the medium was apparently uh, fucking 50 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, listen, I plan to be way fat on my wedding day. To be honest, I mean, there was a time, when, I think when we ordered it, like that might have been on the menu. You know, <laughs> like there really was like no guarantee that I was going to like have any 
I'd like, like, I would like to say that I've been getting back into shape, but like, you know, the last, whenever Brian and I, Brian and I have realized that our, our relationship is uh, mining the phantom universe where we're college roommates and just sure. do nothing but have fun all the time yeah. when we're around each other, uh, except we're both in our 30s and, and 40s. So, uh, yeah, so I haven't been working out a lot now, but in general been kind of on a regimen i've slimmed down a little bit and, and uh and you that's know, been good maybe that's not the best idea though like if we're trying to save money for this wedding would it be cheaper to tailor the suit or for you to just gain 50 pounds you know which i mean which would be cheaper i, I mean know. you like, gotta look at we, me naked like i feel like that that's we, that's we, a part of it i mean that's a fair point yeah i mean i mean cheaper in terms of like you know then i mean do you realize how expensive the groceries would be to fatten them up Mm, I don't know. We could just take him to McDonald's. That's true. Like super. Sizing. I don't know. Though. I'm on the road a lot, and I do have a company credit card, so a lot of yeah. it, like, so like finances, OPB, are yeah. not People's necessarily. Money, yeah. yeah, I would just be gorging. All right, mm -hmm. fair enough. I'm gorging. Uh, all right. So, so, so what? What do we get done? So we we have the suit. So that's good. We have the ring. You mm -hmm. guys did not come back. With the gold cockatiel chain bling design, can, so Justin has to wear a wedding band. Can, uh, real quick, like uh, I saw you try on the ring, yeah, and then I saw you taking it off like it was radioactive, and like put it back, put it back, get it off me. Yeah, uh, I, 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 you know, I, I, I'm not, I'm a free spirit, you know, I, I don't want to be held down. You, 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 okay. Well, how should I? Well, what 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 should I react? Like, what should be my reaction? What's well, an appropriate reaction? Well, what's funny is like like I think the reaction was fine. I I just wanted to know your motives. If your motive is because it's radioactive and you're afraid of it, that's one thing. But you know, like my motive when I tried on my wedding band is like I'm gonna have the rest of my life to get comfortable with this guy. Let's save it. Let's save this. Whereas. Um, uh, that wasn't quite the vibe I got. Oh no! Here's the only the only thing that goes through my head with this fucking wedding band. Yeah, uh, I'm going to lose it, and I want it to be somebody else's responsibility until it absolutely has to be my responsibility. Okay, can, can we pull back the curtain a little bit? Because sure. I suspect that this is not the kind of subject that comes up organically just between you and Ashley. Oh but God, like, no! It... You are making the shift yeah. from being a non jewelry wearing person. <laughs> To a permanent jewelry wearing person. This is a really good point. I'm really glad other reasonable people are bringing this okay, up. Okay, for oh, one. Oh, did I step for in something? One, uh, I'm I don't. Saying. I'm not much of a jewelry person either. I do not like rings in general. Mm. If it were up to me, I would not wear a ring. But Justin wanted me to have a ring. And he wanted me to have a ring with a rock. And I told him, give me a boring ass wedding band. I'll be fine with that. No. This was like a thing. And yet he and it, adorned and you, did, you. I do like it. I do like it, to be fair. It's very pretty. Okay. You it, have is, good taste your, and rings. This is your engagement ring? Yeah. yeah no, I'm, I'm no. not doing a band. Uh, wait, you're not going to do a band at all? No, I don't want to fuck around with it. This but, this feels huge to me. No, no, no. But, but, but like what they could do is what Bonnie did was they, they took a band and then they welded it to it. So it's like, here's the band. Here's the engagement ring. They're now, you know. Yeah. Wait, I, I'm and buying you another ring? No. I mean, how does you that work? Something to put on. T typically, that's how it works. Typically, you have the big rock ring. Yeah. yeah. That's the engagement ring. And, and the then there's a band up in there. that's yeah. the wedding band. Okay. So usually, they get ladies oh, no, get shit. two no, rings. No, no, you're getting another ring. What? As many rings no! as I can buy yeah. you. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, no, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Judge is ruling. I'm on Team Justin on this one. Fuck you, Brushwood. I was getting away with one ring up until this. Wait, it'll still be one ring once you fuse them together. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. You where do I cunt. where do I go where do I go to get your your other ring? So uh, do I got to call my homie in Dallas that I I got that. I'm like, yo, by the way, let me band it up. So apparently, oh, the band's like, back together, baby. Fucking it is band on the run. <laughs> <laughs> All right, talk to me about what it's P. like. He did. He's making the band. What's it like? To yes. be crossing over into the land of jewelry wearer, because I noticed that you don't you don't wear a uh, necklace. necklace. Don't wear a can, bracelet. Can I confess there was a time that I wore a necklace? Really? Yeah. What was it? It's like a silver chain or whatever, because I was in seventh grade. Did, oh, definitely. Did, did oh, you yeah. Ever... No, back then, well, when it was like fashion, I, I actually had a gold chain. Did you? Did with you ever a gold consider... cross on it? Did... At, at one point, that in my is life. so South Florida. 
Oh yeah, no, I looked very. I mean, it really, that's part of if I want to pass as Latin, like I can Deep. definitely just roll with a gold chain with a gold cross. All right, not that look, only Latins wear gold chains and gold crosses, but come on. People. All right, let's Racist. let's uh, re- real quick, real quick. You know both of us fairly well. One of us more than the other. Uh, uh, I would hope. Would you guess that Justin or I would ever have seriously considered getting our ears pierced? And which one and how and what? Oh, I would definitely say that you would consider it. I would consider it. Oh, totally. Okay. All right. But Justin? Because I've seen like weird ass pictures of you when you were young. So I totally buy that. Um, well, also like you committed to a fucking hairstyle that you had to maintain yes. every day. Yeah. Like yeah. If, if you're into that for physical adornment, it would stand to reason that you would probably sure, like, sure, sure. Like, right, be yeah, more okay. likely to Fair just enough. pop with a gun. But, 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 but I like, dress like a pile of shit. And uh, I look like an unmade bed twenty four seven. So the likelihood that I would want to do anything, I would want to put any effort into my fair enough. The way I look is really a shock, I think, to everybody. Yeah. So that, that, that's a no go. You never considered. I thought about dyeing my hair once. I had a lot of rave friends. What, co- what color? What would you have done? Uh, a dark blue. We actually mm. bought it, and then I and then I pushed out. Really? I had dark blue once. Yeah, man. You know, I was yeah. two years with bright green hair, right? Yeah, no, you yeah, and Bob. That's why I've seen yeah. your yeah, crazy ass pictures. Yeah. 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 yeah uh, all right, so here, let, let, let's get back. We have the ring. I have, it, it is a tungsten, a dark tungsten ring, right? And I tried to pick out some expensive rings, too, and you're like, I don't want any gold. No, here's what impressed me about your ring. Is, yeah. Is it looked like, and forgive me if I'm misremembering already, but it felt like it had a blue tint to it. Is that right? Like a. No, it, it's gray. It's kind of gray black. Uh, I mean, it, it is it is dark enough that when you look at it, it might seem to have a bit of a metallic sort of sheen to right, it, which right. is, might be where like where where kind you look at it. Kind of obsidian looking. It or? looks yeah. It looks it basically looks like the new Mac Pros. Okay. It's like it's like I have a little ring of the new Mac Pro but on my finger. My favorite moment was I was like, oh man, wedding rings. Uh, you know what I love about my ring is it feels heavy as shit, and I drop it, and then you drop yours and mine. I was like. Oh shit, son! That's yeah. uh, he could that's kill somebody with it. Yeah, yeah no, and, and basically, you, that's you, the way. you want to know what happened two weeks ago? We, as as all things are learned, in the line for Hood Slam, uh, there was a couple right behind us, and this dude had a heavy ass tungsten ring, and he was like, "Yeah, I got the heaviest ring I could find because I never wore a ring, and I wanted to know very fucking clearly." Like when I have the ring on and when I don't have the ring That's on. That's a good point. What, what's and, funny? What's funny is is that is almost exactly my thought, with the exception that uh, it wasn't so much the ring itself, so much as like if I'm gonna wear this thing because it means I'm married, I want to fucking know it at all at all times. I oh wait, know so I'm you were you were like you're like oh no, this is a point. Yeah, like, this is this were you is, worried? This is my hair suit. Were you yeah. worried that you might forget? Um, no, 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 no. I, I, I just want, if this is going to be a talisman, um, uh, what we did is we had a, uh, I guess we ended up with platinum with like inlay with gold, which is, I don't know. I don't know wh- how that ranks on the Kinsey scale compared to a manly <laughs> tungsten ring. Uh, but I am happy with the weight, you know? Oh, yeah. That's pretty heavy. Yeah. Uh, all right, so we have a ring. So we have a ring. A ring. We have our total of two rings. And you're rings. getting a band. No, you're I'm not. You're getting the band back together. If you are buying me oh, I another am. fucking ring, we are going to size this, resize this. How uh, do we do that? What happens? We got to send it back to Dallas? It's yeah. called you spend money, All right. and then you get it back, and she's happier. I'm gonna call it's like my, a half size down. That's what we had talked about. I'm, I'm going to call my dude in Dallas and be like, listen, no, we're, send, you, we're you, sending the ring back. You just got done telling me about how you're going to bulk up at the gym. You're going to go all Sarah Connor. Uh, Terminator 2 style and, and gain like 15 uh, so pounds I of lean muscle. I shouldn't bring it a half size down then. That's, what, I mean, that's what I'm wondering. I have like, like, I'm going to have the most muscly ripped phalanges that's that you I'm ever saying, saw. That's right? okay. And um, guess, uh, guess I don't need a band then. All right, so we're good. <laughs> uh, Thanks no, for oh, settling oh, that for us, Brian. Sorry. Oh, you going to get a band. <laughs> uh, any, uh, any other updates that we have um, for, the, for the people? You know, not a ton of exciting ones. I mean, we... Uh, I had a minor panic attack when I realized, oh my God, we're at capacity for brunch. Are we forgetting somebody? Blah, blah, blah. So, All right. So let's, let's have just have it be, people. let's, let's let it be known that, uh, there is a brunch. Oh, we didn't talk about this yet. Did we? 
on, uh, no, I think we've talked about the brunch. Basically, it is going to be the stand-in for our reception. And like by the our, way, just real Kate. That is the one not public thing that we're doing. <laughs> it's not public. It is by invite only. Right. So, yeah. for, I mean, just to cut it off, head it off at the pass, there's some people who are going to feel upset because they're not invited. Understand that 99.9999999999993% of the global population is also not invited. So if you're not invited, it's not that you're not beloved. Well, largely the brunch is for only family uh, that's traveling for the wedding. Sure. For the most part. So so uh, that's that. But uh, So the brunch thing. Brunch thing we've got, got under control. Uh, the other thing is I finally settled on um, what we're going to do for like a guest book thing. Uh, because oh, yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. has guest books at their fucking wedding. And this is still not entirely practical. And I'm trying to figure out the rest of the logistics of what we're going to do. But we're going to have uh, 400 tiny ass envelopes on every seat in the crystal ballroom. And people can like like write either, you know, well wishes or marriage advice or just, I don't know, something. They can, dr- they can draw a penis, you know, yeah. whatever they want to do. Wrist dicks. Wrist dicks, but actually in a tiny paper envelope. Yeah. yeah. So we got to figure out like what we've got to collect those in, but that's going to be a uh, be a thing. Yeah. Well, where's your stress? Because I feel like we were we were in we were doing really well, right? And I, then and then this week, uh, shit, we 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 hit the outer atmosphere. You don't you understand. Know? We have less than sixty days. We're close to fifty days. Yeah. Till we get married. Oh, this is where and the episodes you, start to get really weird, by the way. You because, like, we're going to get crazy. Y- you haven't written your vows yet, and you refuse to write your vows. Uh, oh, are we going to get up into this oh, right now? Are. All right. Oh, okay. I mean, okay. What's, what's he going to do? He's going to speak from the heart, right? Are you getting hit Brian in on this freestyle rap thing? Oh, shit. Number Please. one, number one, you picked the oh, fucking wrong guest to have in studio. <laughs> Because, by the way, if there's one person in the world that I can call as a character, if, if this was a trial <laughs> and I said to call as a character wow. witness uh, somebody uh, that uh, understands. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like Omar. I, I, I have yeah. a lot of just for, just for the deposition. <laughs> like, Brian understands that, the, uh, that I can extemporaneously come up with something that is entertaining and touching. Yeah, poss- and, and certainly more honest. To. Oh, don't you I mean, dare! I mean, I, I mean, okay, tell me this: Do you want him to get oh, up there? Oh shit! This is happening. I mean, <clears throat> which which opening would you rather hear from Justin? The vows go. He goes. Maya Angelou once said, <laughs> <laughs> "I'm now no matter what, I'm starting my vows with that." <laughs> or Maya Angelou once said, "Hello." <laughs> she was trying to get her phone working. <laughs> Moving on. I love Ashley. <laughs> LOL. I love it. No. A wise poet once said, I love killing, thieving, and extortion. <laughs> give me 20 bucks. I'll give you an abortion. I love cocaine. <laughs> and selling it to kids, right? Charge uh, 50 oh for God. an ounce. No, see, see, that's not your mouse. Okay. That's well, a, no, a viral right, internet right. video. He's like, but a wiser man made a parody of it. Thank you. <laughs> uh, no, you're writing your fucking vows. I'm going to Okay, them. no, no, no. The, I'm a husband. Again, man. again, I will In a I will band. happily I can write Living my vows my wife, way Rippany. easier than you can write your vows. And you are you are throwing this back on me because you are having a block about writing your vows and so you are persecuting me instead of channeling your own energy into writing vows that you I'm are happy with. I'm working on vows. I've already started writing stuff. I'm working on vows. All right. Where's you don't know my process. Where's Wait. your Google Doc? Yeah, yeah. First of all, fuck you, Google Doc uh, Slack. Why is there not ourmarriage.slack.com? Wait, what's We could Slack? do a Slack, yeah. Yeah, no, you what's guys should Slack? do a Slack. <sighs> it's the way hipster tech people communicate with oh, each other. Oh, that's the thing you were doing on Contender. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I we're thought hipster that was like a people. paid thing. No, no, no. It's free. Oh. Uh, we should have a Slack, actually. It would actually be a, like a pretty good... It, it's a good place <laughs> to just have like the official dialogue. And so instead of us just texting each other... So guys, we're from Oakland. We're from the Bay Oak Area. We use Land. Slack. 
Look, man. Also, they, they drink wine. Dude, they, I just made a Google Doc for my fucking one man show that I'm going to embarrass myself uh, at Nerdtacular. Now, I'm not saying that's smart. I'm not saying that's wise. I'm saying I'm I'm going to do that one man show, and it'll uh, at the worst be a jury episode, and at best be something better than that. I have a different process. I do shit a little bit differently. I can write very fast. I don't need to have a Google Doc for which I'm constantly tinkering around on. Mm. It's just a thing. You know, but your future wife might need to monitor it to make sure that there's nothing. Yeah, wait, whoa, whoa, okay. Whoa, whoa. okay. First uh, of all, now we've hit on what the issue is. All right. Yeah, uh, first of all, that moment, and I mean this sincerely, and I'm not taking sides on this. Mm. Uh, and this is both ways for you. Are you saying you want to know his vows before he says them? Yes. Wow. No hesitation. What about you? Well, I don't, I don't care. Like, like, I mean, I, 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 do, do I, do I want to, See, this is, this is amazing to me because to me, the vows is a wrapped present. That's, that's the moment where in front of the world, you're going to speak the truth from the heart. Yeah. And I kind of like, if you've made the decision to hitch up and be together for the rest of your lives, then I would say, wrap that present, leave it wrapped, and let me hear it in that moment. Let me feel it when you Here's say it. Here's why. She's afraid I'm going to say something embarrassing or fucked up or weird. Or you're going to be funnier than me. So oh. then let me work on your and, and, I mean, no. So here's the thing. Like, I, I mean, the present thing, like, I've never thought of it that way. But, I mean, I think... Because of the nature of how we're doing things, I keep telling people, it's like, yeah, it's a wedding, but it's barely a wedding. Like, we've got the the maybe 15 minutes of actual ceremony. It's probably going to be closer to 10. And then everything else is, like, entirely scripted and put on. So in my mind, like, yeah, we're kind of doing a wedding ceremony thing, but the vows are part of that. Like, how are we going to incorporate things so you, that might what, what, relate to for, later for or you, not it is it is less of a i'm in the moment experiencing you know every every girl princess's fan dream of being married for you it's like no assholes this is a show basically we're gonna make sure this shit's good and there's quality control and you're late on your scripts yeah well and i wouldn't say he's late on his scripts i've just been hounding him about getting started on it for weeks 10 minutes i bang this shit out Mm, boom. All right, so if uh, if anyone would like to email us to Justin's vows, you can, can send it to okay. jurymore at justinrobertyoung can, at gmail.com. Can, can you just, can we just smash cut like as a test? Yeah. Not the beginning of it, not the end of it. Yeah, just, did you do our vows right now? Just one sentence of what it might look like. Like, like just, just give us, because I know you got most of it working up here, right? Sure, yeah. Yeah, okay, so smash cut to, uh, oh man, no, I totally haven't figured out. Cut, cut to the future, and you're saying what? Just one one sentence. In a life that is a bottle rocket with the stem snapped off, Ashley was the one person who was able to put me on a straight track that made my life make sense. Oh, that's so much mush. I thought no, it was it's really sweet. sweet. No, it, it I, is. I it no, it's sweet. really. No, it's really sweet. I'm like, shit. Now I have to be mushy. Okay. Oh. How do I be okay, mushy? Okay. Listen, by right, the way, well, number one, wait, wait, you, wait, gave wait, one so good. you gave me one sentence. You gave me. All right. So he gave me one sentence for my fucking wedding vows, which means I have two fucking options. I can either do a funny line or I can do a sentimental line. And I'm gonna cry so I try way. to do. I try to do a creative version of okay, a sentimental can just, line. Can I just okay. say when she when you were like that is such mush. I was like you didn't like it i was like <laughs> I, lo I loved it but I'm, I'm not good at mush i'm not good at funny i'm just a bad boring fiance so this is this is all right this is exactly what this, this is, is by this, the way. this is exactly what this will is turn that into. she's she is worried that her vows will not be where my vows are and that's what i'm saying so then far let me work all of with mine you. are writing jokes are, are you just writing, writing jokes? Well, so far, well, I need to start with jokes and give and one line. Nope. I gave one line. Nope, not embarrassing myself. Wait a minute. Hold, Hold on. on. Whoa. Actually, I'm sorry. I'm Whoa. sorry. I don't want. I don't want to freak you this out. This is Justin. why we need to heavily. I edit was them. able to catch a glimpse, and the first line I did see oh, was was it the reference? No. It well, it was, says as the poet Maya Angelou says. <laughs> right, <laughs> right there. Fruit on top. loops. Fruity loops. <laughs> Loops of fruit, uh, toucan Sam, 
Uh, okay, so I can write my vows. I can write them fucking right now on the stream. No. I could. No, I'm, I'm not saying I would. I'm not saying I should. I'm saying I could if I wanted to. Uh, I, I, I and can. I will I will say right now, as you're considering what those are going to be, to address Mitzola in the chat, there can be nothing about fucking laser discs. Okay, I'm not, I mean, like, I understand that I'm not, like, I like to fuck around. I like to embarrass you. I like to be a silly goose. I will not pick our fucking vows. I give you the Justin Robert Young stamp uh, of approval that I will not pick my vows uh, at my fucking wedding to be the point where I really get one over on you. Now, at the reception, at the brunch, literally every other time, because at that point you're stuck with me by way of <laughs> fucking uh, social pressure. Uh, yes, I will constantly torment you. There is a safe harbor, and it's called our vows. You don't have to worry about me fucking with you. Okay, I still want to see him before the wedding. Oh, I want to see yours. That's fine. But Man. you better write them. You guys, you better write them. You guys are like two police chiefs working at the same police force, <laughs> saying, "I want that report on my desk by Monday. I want your report on my desk by Monday." Well, oh, listen, this is like, you. Like the, it's literally the only comeback I have because I know she doesn't want to write her vows. She's feeling very like angry about writing her vows, uh, or or at least self conscious about it. Dude, I'll, I'll write them for you. I got this great opening line. I mean, you're basically. <laughs> <laughs> it's about the poet Maya Angelou. It's gonna be I. Awesome. Oh, my. Uh, Tensor guy in the chat room says, Ash lays down the law. Are you sure you're not Latin? Uh, it's a fair point. Okay. So uh, is that is that it for the updates? We have any other I, updates? I, I think so. Um, oh, actually, uh, registry gifts. Um, we got a... By the way, bit.ly slash jurymore uh, if you would like to go to our registry. Um, we got a dehydrator from Paul. Hell yeah. And I'm going to butcher the Paul other Freeland, person's by the way. name. Uh, Freeland? Oh, right? shit. Yeah, no, yeah. Nick Freeland's son. Yeah, yeah, dude. Long time friend. So thank you for the dehydrator. We'll dry all the things. Hey, Mitzula wants us to do a test run of the vows at Smoke Monster 3, the cigar smoking extravaganza <sighs> at Nerdtacular. I don't know. Are we, are we doing Jury More at Nerdtacular? Because it was happening and then it wasn't. Or it wasn't, then it was happening and now it might not again. I haven't heard anything. Got me. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Maybe that's what that can be about. If Number one, we're it. constantly doing jury more when we're around each other. So literally, you can just we we will do jury more on demand. Just walk up to us at Nerdacular and say, "Hey, what's up with the vows?" And we'll just get into a fight in front of you, and it'll be entertaining and hilarious. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh! <laughs> that was the best laugh. <laughs> uh, we also got uh, like this laundry scrub board thing. Yeah, from like, like an old I can't fashioned. pronounce it. I'm gonna feel so bad. I can't pronounce his name. Can I? Gas. <clears throat> I'm I'm sorry. No, sorry, the, I can't the, pronounce the your spelling name. messes you up. But it says it, Brian Brushwood is how it's pronounced. No, no, no it's, it's Gaspari Kalura. Is that how you say it? Gaspari Gasca Kalura. Gaspari. Gas Gaspari. Uh, Kalura. Probably Gaspar. It might be Gaspar. Gaspar. Gaspar Kalura. Yeah. Um, anyway, I can't. Or Gasper. Might be I Gasper. can't. Read him from the Midwest. Gasper, I'm sorry, the friendly beneficiary. Uh, so those are those are the those are the I think most recent gifts we who, got. So who thank wrote you guys for in, rocking. In, in the little note, how could this have been done? Did he write right yeah, there? Nope, there it is. Uh, so yeah, no, thank you so much uh, again. Pit.ly slash jurymore. We don't fucking make any money on this show, uh, but if you enjoy us and enjoy marriage and life and love happiness and vows then and go rings. ahead on over and rangs rangs uh bit.ly slash jury more uh and that leads us to so uh jury yeah we uh we have a guest. That's our topic. Hey, Ryan Brushwood. Oh, I just showed up. Hey, hey yeah. he just on? got here. Uh, is he the first Jury Moore guest? No, your mom early on when we were in Florida. We did, yeah. We yeah, had we, your mom. We, we, we interviewed out, your mom. We interviewed G-Lo. We should interview more family because that'd be awkward. We should get some of your family. I know. Get my dad. Your dad would be great. Oh, my God. He wouldn't know what to do. 
Um, it could be really, it could be w- Did, way more embarrassing than this vow conversation. So, so, does your family know, like, they're marrying into a podcasting family? or? Yeah, they don't t- totally understand it. Yeah. Well, I mean, no, even but, with, but even, I think, because, like, Ashley has prepared, like, Ashley's public YouTube career, like, Oh, being, I guess so, yeah. yeah. No. So, so okay. yeah, I was just going to say that that's kind of helped them understand it, but, uh, the idea that, you know, the... Uh, Justin with everything he's doing I mean it's really becoming a full time gig um, that's definitely going to be new and explaining what podcasting is 17,000 times sure. is fun so yeah but, I mean at least now you get to say like you know like cereal <laughs> no no not even that mm. they're yeah from, no like, they're, they're not yeah they're not, not the like cereal listener they're, they don't have their public radio tote bags mm. Mm. yeah right. uh, they think no. Adnan's guilty <laughs> they do <laughs> which let's be honest Let's be real, dog. Uh, no, I'm just going to be real with you. You murdered that lady, dude. Fucking, we all know it. I know it. You know it. It's only that fucking one lady who has a crush on you that decided to make a podcast about it that doesn't. Uh, all right. So, you know, your dad needs to come on. That'd be great. Yeah, we should we should bring him on. If you guys have questions for my dad, that could be interesting. Questions for my email dad. Him, email him. Email him. Jury Moore. Justin Robert Young. At hey, uh, I have a question. So, hi, Brian. Uh, Brian Brushwood. Yo. Yo. We are about to get married. I don't know if you picked up on this. We're yeah. about to get married. If you had... Both of you. A lesson to, to each other, no less. Yeah. Uh, if you had a lesson about marriage to impart to to us, what would it be? I mean, you don't have to ask him this. It's that I'm right all the time. So there we go. Here's Man. the advice. Do you, do you want to know... Like the fan, uh, mm. Mm, get it? Mm. Understand. This is uh, this is me, you know, doing my fake, you know, best pal speech, you know, at the wedding. Uh, understand that uh, that the only way it works is if deep in your hearts you know for a fact, not for a you know that's the plan, but for a fact that it's like it's, it's us forever. And that's it. That's the end of it. It's amazing how quickly you let stuff go knowing that that is the only other face you're going to wake up to every morning, right? So it's like, um, I don't know. Uh, What I have discovered since getting married is that uh, it is so much easier to, you know, do your time in the doghouse and just understand that you are going to offend the other party and you will have to work off that debt. And the only way that's possible is if the other side is, you know, open or, or if both of you are able to talk about here's what I did wrong. Here's how I would do it if I could do it again. I understand you're upset. I'm going to sleep on this couch for a little while or whatever. Like the benefit of that is if you adopt that early and own it often, then, uh, you know, it's like, you know, to date, as far as I could tell, in 15, 18 years, I don't think I've ever lied to Bonnie once. And like yeah. to me, that's precious and powerful. But the downside of that is there's a lot of times that I had to tell the truth. <laughs> and the truth was not what I wanted to be telling. But yeah. but it's like having that black and white border where, uh, I, I don't know, that that's what seems to have helped. Being being comfortable. You, with you don't doing... count theatrical lies, right? Like Oh, like on air or whatever? No, no. Like... Uh... Like, oh, no, I don't know where your purse is when you've put, like, her birthday present in it, and it's going to oh, be, no, no, like, no, no. in the yeah, car. No, no, no. Like, like, I, that's, I've, that's I've, I've done magic yeah. tricks or whatever. Theatrical lies. Right, yeah. right. But but it's like, uh, you know, there's definitely been, been times where it's like, uh, you know, you go out with the guys, and I'm like, oh, I sure hope she doesn't ask where we ended up tonight because then I'll have to tell her the truth. And... And there have and been then, times that she was like, so where did you end up last night? You're like, B12, you sunk my <laughs> battleship, woman. <laughs> yeah, and just knowing you. I was at the titty bar. God <laughs> damn it. I was expecting you to say B11. <laughs> oh, jeez. And then, you know, and then it's like, you know, then, you know, it's time to make good or whatever. But it's like, uh, like, it's that underlying foundation of knowing that um, that at the end of the day, it's like, you know, it's it's you and her forever and ever and ever and ever. And that's it. I definitely think that's that's it's kind of a part of our relationship that I, I think is is a key tenant is that we are we're very honest. We've with we've each had other. to be 
uh, brutally honest, especially with the long distance stuff, doing that for so long. Um, I think overall, we're pretty good at that. Yeah. Overall. I mean, Except I, I, when I, I you know, hide your pornography. I, I wait, 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 hide wait. my pornography. I, is, is that a thing? Oh, we, we, no, did, we did an episode on it. Oh. Yeah, basically, uh, I found out that he subscribes to porn. Oh, yeah, by yeah that's fine. Yeah. yeah. No, it's fine. Wait, I just you found like out by accident or he subscribed by accident? No. I found out by she, accident. She, all right, so uh, on the iPad, and again, you can listen to this on, on a whole episode dedicated to it, but uh, Safari uh, oftentimes flashes like a still frame of the last thing that you were looking at. Yeah. Even if it was in the private tab. Sure. So as I'm like scrolling through to like find the app. Yeah. Uh, one, there was the email screen that was like paid for this, but that was only found after my freak out because your well, incognito she's, she's window looking, had the porn. Yeah. Right. She's thing. looking in in fucking like the freeze frames right. that uh, right, right, Safari right, right, generates right. when in, you're looking in, for in the multitasking. Apps. Yeah. You're like, bleh, bleh, bleh. Okay. And, yeah. And to make me sound less like a snoopy, terrible human being. No, no, no. No, because I, which, I went, which, I went no, no, no. to Safari. Okay, all, let, me fit, let, let me finish. Okay, all right, that's fine. Let, let me finish. Let me, let me just stay real, uh, real quick. Let me inject. Uh, there is no snooping. Like that's your your entire. You you bought. You you are a co owner of fifty percent of his. Only on September fifth. I mean, but no. but understand, like it's no longer snooping. It's literally that's part of the deal. That's 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 you know, and and now too. I mean, a little bit, little bit. Of I, now, you know, she was not. She I, was no, not. I, I, I'm I'm just saying that in in my understanding. Again, I might be an idealistic uh, person with an unrealistic uh, idea of what marriage is, but I do think there is like a concept of snooping. Um, it depends. I, and this is one of those, the great part is you get to decide the rules. Like, like yeah. Bonnie said, Hey, she, she's told me like four times, like, Hey, just so you know, when I sit down and I see your Gmail open, I poke around in your Gmail and I'm like, yeah, no, uh, good, good, good on you. Good on you, mate. Yeah. Right. And, uh, and, and what's funny is in this case, she said it and I thought, I don't care. There's literally nothing that will ever be there. But it occurred to me that, and I, I, you know what? I should ask her this. I wonder if she's warning me, like, so just make sure there's nothing in your Gmail that you don't want me to see because yeah. I always sit down and, and, and poke around on it. No, you know, I, for, for me, it's, it's not so much. And I, I, I do think that snooping certainly is a thing that exists. I don't, I don't think it's so much that I would have an issue with Justin poking around my shit, or I would think that Justin would inherently have an issue with me poking around his shit. Uh, that it, it feels like a, a trust issue to where, like, why do you feel the need to poke around my shit unless you think that there's something no. wrong or you don't trust me or something? That's the way that I, I, I think that that, that, that to, uh, to, to us, I think I, I think and that, again, that is, this is what's great is you get yeah. to write your own rules. I think right? in, in our relationship, I think that is something that for both of us, especially because with the long distance thing, it was like, hey, listen, if we have any tremor of trust issue. That is fucking five alarm fire town hall meeting kind of shit. Like yeah. we take that because we came from a situation where we had to trust each other, you know, from being far away. It was like, hey, listen, I you ain't gonna hurt my feelings telling me about it. Like, like I think we both have a very realistic idea of what life is. So it's like, if you have a tremor, let's talk about it and let's just see where we are on stuff. And so it's like, it's not like snooping necessarily would be like, oh my God, you violated my privacy. No, I'm going to be upset about it. It's more just like, hey, okay. I mean, again, and, and, and the, the, the whole porn thing we can, you know, is, is, is more of her just making fun of me that, you know, that it's, it's funny. Right. To no, no, really. I just, like, the, the porn thing was like, I, because we talk so much about everything and I just happened to come across like, oh, Justin has a paid porn subscription thing. Um, in my and I, I know this isn't entirely logical, but I'm like, oh, you know, we talk about everything. Why hasn't he talked to me about how he pays for porn? Right. Like I would have thought that that's something that would have well, come okay. up since now, there's now this money is, involved. This is interesting and and again, you guys are entering marriage from a very different place than me. I was yes. fortunate enough and I'll I'll say fortunate in my case. I was fortunate enough to marry Bonnie straight out of college 
where neither of us straight out of college Sit. crazy motherfucker named brian <laughs> marrying his sweetheart and now he's trying to make his way <laughs> thank you Sorry. for not saying i'm dying um <laughs> Uh, but 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 uh, because we both got married when we had nothing, it was obvious that what we do is we throw everything into one pool of money and we share everything. And and if we were to get divorced, no matter how successful I am, I would definitely say that she's entitled to half of everything I ever have because I started with nothing and she helped make everything possible. And as far as I'm concerned, she'll never have to work again or whatever. But you guys are getting married at a later stage where you've both established your own financial habits and, and all that stuff. Yeah. And, and, and I don't know what is, I, 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 I mean, have you guys read like what, what marriage therapists and stuff say is the best attitude is people get divorced for religion, which I don't see being a problem between you guys, uh, money and, uh, and, uh, sexuality. Right. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just going to assume the sex thing is fine. Oh Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. Thanks, thanks to a certain subscription. Yeah. <laughs> but so uh, and, you, you got you got uh, you earplugs, see, right? Yeah, you seem like on the same page as far as uh, the the religion side of thing, but the money thing, it, it like like um, I I, it's not my place. To, I can't give you any advice. All I could say on the money thing is I'm very glad that Bonnie and I only have joint accounts. Everything. Uh, and, and in fact, she has access to the business accounts or whatever, but, but I mean, have you guys, have you guys had the money conversation? Have you guys talked about it? Yeah, we, no, we that have, was, that was a, that was an episode. Oh, yeah. We're, okay. we're keeping separate bank accounts. Now, is that because that's what both of you guys want or because you read up on, uh, what tends to make, cause I, I'm one of those game players that'll be like, well, what, what by the numbers do successful couples tend to do? And then I would just do whatever it is, whether it was comfortable for See, me or I, not. I think forcing, and in my mind, this is just my the way I look at it, forcing a joint account, it, again, it gets into like the trust tremor thing, where it's like, all right, well, I have no, I have no qualms about giving Ashley all the access to everything, you know? Like, well, uh, and that that very well may be something that we wind up doing, but right now, like we're keeping our own accounts and we have a joint account. And right now, that joint account is like, uh, here's where we dump all our excess money for the wedding. <laughs> right, right. Account, but that's ultimately going to wind up being a well, joint and, account, and, probably and for other things. Yeah, too. that's a good spot to be in. I, I like for we're example, we're going to have our cake and eat it. Uh, in in I I know in our marriage, me and Bonnie, like it has been like pulling teeth to bring her once a month and say, Hey, here's all our money. And like, I know all she wants to do is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bills are paid. Everything's fine. Right. Okay, good. And I'm like, no, you have to understand this is leveraged here. This is going here and we need to pay this and you need to, you know, we have to pick between these two guys and so on. Uh oh, I'm getting furtive brows. Did something mess up? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, the, it, I think the, your cord thing is just coming out a little bit. Yeah, no, 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 we're fine. Keep we're going. We're good. We're good. Uh, but but my point is, is like, uh, if Bonnie could, she would abdicate. Uh, I suspect at some point she would have abdicated all responsibility for financial stuff or whatever. And it's like, I've seen those couples, what, you know, what happens, you know, when, when, when one partner says the other one's got their crap together and that's the end of it. Uh, and I didn't want to be one of those couples, but you guys are in a very fundamentally different position in that you're both coming in with successful careers. You both come in with independent credit ratings and finances and so on. Um, and yet I, I, I don't know. I do feel like there's something to the sharedness of, uh, on the money side of thing, because, because like, for example, Bonnie kept the lights on the first two years that I yeah. quit my day job. Right. And it's like, there's no ledger that will appear on. But it does come into like, well, that's the keys to the kingdom. And well, you know, she's as far as I'm concerned, I will owe her my entire career. I, I guess for, for us, I, I, I and, and I don't want to speak for Ashley, but I, I would I would guess is that there's. The, the big step would be being open about the access to everything. You know, and, and, and for us, it's like, you know, we got a joint account where we pay wedding funds. We each got 
our own bank account where you know uh, our our checks get direct deposited. Uh, if we started a business together on top of it, we would have another joint business account uh, where we would do that because that's just <coughs> where money goes and, and we can redirect it and have it, you know, forward uh, however it is appropriate. But the big key is that we all have access to everything. <laughs> and that also, I understand that there is, like, there there will always be a point where it's like, hey, I make the money I make and I would like to spend it the way I want to spend it. But there's no transaction that is not open for a discussion. Every transaction, every, every two, uh, the $2 that is spent, I understand. Or I, the $70 I, a parking ticket. I mean, listen, I get a lot of parking tickets. Like fucking it's not, it's, uh, I'm a very aggressive parker. So here's, here's where we get to it. Right. Is when you're married, you're a team, you are acting as a unit which means, like, for example, there are things, and we've talked about this, there are, uh, we, we talked about buying a puppy for Bizarre Magic Inc. Yeah. And I realized, oh, shit, it doesn't just affect me anymore. It also affects John. I can't go and do this without, you know, because John participates in the, in the profits of scam stuff. And if I were to run out and spend a whole bunch of money, well, then without talking to him, I've now reduced his profits, right? So likewise, um, Yes, you have you have an account. You have an account, right? But um, I assume if you were to roll home in an in a Ferrari when yeah. she would really like a bigger apartment, yeah, that there would be a discussion, right? Oh and, God, and yeah, yeah, as yeah, there yeah. should be because you know you become you know you become a team, in which case everything's theoretically a pool. And I would say, and I hate to I hate to sell you out here, but I think it's okay for her to say, "What's up with you spending?" my money on tickets because it does kind of become her money on tickets. You guys are a team now. She, you're spending team money on tickets. Now, having said that, yeah, you're like, I have few, I, I am a man of few, of, 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 of few extreme tastes. One of those things is I love the sweet, sweet power that comes with parking illegally and then paying for it. Uh, no, I mean, what, what, I would say is is not a an impassioned plea uh, that I need to be able to get parking tickets in peace, but rather, listen, know know who you're signing, baby. Like you know, I am I am a very I am well, I am I am who I am, and I will likely continue to get parking tickets because I find I'm absent minded. I find myself in situations where I get lost and stuff, and so, that's just what it is. So but you here, don't have the Oakland excuse, though. You get a lot of Oakland parking tickets. Here, here is I get lost in things. I'm sorry, here, but here, I do. I do really. What, I do I really say. quickly. I to. I do think that Justin and I are already starting to make some of those financial decisions together, to be fair, even in having these separate accounts. So, for instance, uh, parking ticket jokes aside, which we've brought up almost every week. Sure, um, sure. For instance, yeah, really we, we looked here. at... Which, which, by the way, I can relate to. I'm, I'm on Team Justin. It's like, look, uh, 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 the expected value, you know, you figure you park five times, one of those five times you pay 70 bucks works out as it's seventeen dollars every time you park, which is a pretty good deal. I w I was just joking around about the parking thing till till I hurt Justin's feels, but um, oh yeah, you yeah, hurt my feels. But we we are actually starting to make like some of these financial decisions, especially with the more and more podcasting things that are going on. So uh, even just looking at the finances and the embarrassing amount of money that we spend on eating out. And like trying to see where we want so, to cut back okay. and put money back toward the, other this, things this and making back those to my decisions. Point. And, and I, I'm going to wrap on my point and I'm going to I'm going to step back. But those discussions are good discussions to have, and they're good to get both of you on the same spending plan together. And I know in my experience, knowing that there was only one pile of money, guaranteed that both of us had to be cool with how it was spent, and never in our entire marriage, did either of us have the option of saying, well, this is my money and I'll spend it how we want. And because of that, we never said it and we never did it. And even though it was difficult, like like I came home once and Bonnie had spent like $1,400 on a bunch of uh, pine shelves or whatever, like as, as a fuck you to me because she couldn't handle how unorganized everything was. And I was like, I would never in a million years spend $1,400 without consulting you. 
and 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 it was it was like you know and then it was like can we come up with a rule between the two of us like what's the number that 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 of amount of money that, that you we need would to spend have the extra person to turn the to key. turn the key right and so and 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 it forced the decision of of like well I think two hundred dollars is that number you know below that oh I wow we, uh, that's lower than I thought uh, well I mean but, but keep in mind this is back when you know when I was making 30, 40 grand yeah, a year yeah, or whatever yeah. right uh, and so what, 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 what would that be now I mean with Kids and everything. Oh, where shit gets uh, fucking now, now it'd be closer to eight hundred or a thousand. Eight. I mean, we're doing fairly well. Yeah, now. I would say one. I mean, like you know. Yeah, yeah, right. Because there's a lot of like you know. But, but Penny, Penny's got to get fucking soccer shit or something, and it's like that. That right. goes that, that goes right. to nine hundred real quick. But 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 here's my point: is having one <laughs> pile way, of money. Carl, Carl very accurately points out two hundred dollars. That's not even a single brunch in Oakland. <laughs> Legit. Accurate. Accurate. Legit. So so here's my point: I suspect that the fact that and again we were forced into it, and I'm and I'm asking if you guys want to choose it. The fact that we were forced into one pile of money forced us into those discussions early on to get to the, like you put the two key situation for sp expenditures or whatever. And I wonder, like I've never had the, the, the fuck you excuse of it's my money. It's separate from yours. Fuck you. I'll spend it on what I want. Well, and I don't, I don't think that that's where we are at. Like for now, I think is, is one it's easier to like, we don't really have a whole lot that we really need. I mean, yes, we're getting married, but that we a single thing that we need to really tie our incomes together with. Like we don't have a mortgage. You know, we don't have a car that we're making payments on together. Like for now, it's easy and convenient. And maybe down the road, like I can envision a world to where we would probably Shit's as a little time tighter. goes on where we are merging into a single account. And again, we're probably going to wind up having, I would imagine having access to each other's accounts. Anyway, we're already transferring money constantly between each other's yeah. accounts. It's just, it's probably a matter of time. Before and that and, happens, and, and to be by honest. the way, for, for the record, I mean like we, we, you know, bust traps on the, on the parking ticket thing all the time. But like, if Ashley was like, Hey, listen for real, like I, I look at this and I'm, I'm really dismayed by it. And it just means more self-discipline by you that you need to show then uh like <laughs> then that's then like i, I would I, I would i would take it more seriously i Dude. would i would all right first of all i'm looking at these parking oh tickets okay. fucking some, God, some of those really? are actually mine all right no no, no. i mean for, for the record but uh, for, for only the audio listeners ashley has now pulled out a pile of my parking tickets uh, for which say, she just has for, on hand, apparently, and she has now handed them to Brian. For the record, I'm working on an For the record, piece. almost all of these are less than what I often pay for valet at places. These are, the, these are parking charges, not not fees. They're not tickets. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Take two. Like I said, we like to bust each other's chaps about the fucking parking no, ticket thing, but, but that's but, fine. But, I, I, again, I'm not worried about where you guys are. I'm worried about when there's a serious disagreement between you because that's one of the parts about getting married Yeah, is acknowledging in advance. We know for a fact there will be a fundamental disagreement between us on some shit coming down the road. And in that regard, um, I don't know. Like, I, I, uh, I uh, yeah. I, I guess that's like the, the, the biggest thing for me is it, it it is going to be what it is, uh, and I am always a hundred percent transparent, and I want to meet uh, understanding that we do have that division. Which really, here's what the division is: the division is the difference between me being able, uh, and we'll just use it because it was already brought up, but like me being able to just buy pornography and not think about it, because if Ashley sees it. And wants to have a conversation about it, I am fully able to, right? But if it's in the same timeline of charges, maybe now I think twice about it. I think twice about doing it. And now I am making a decision in my own head about my own happiness versus the relationship. And right now, I want to believe we can have both. I want to believe that I can have the freedom to spend my money the way I want. And 
I can be open and honest and any conversations that we have, we can deal with. Though I will say like in regards to when we were talking early on about the bank merging conversation thing, mm -hmm. you certainly seem to kind of, and we've, we've talked about this before, so sorry for talking about it again, guys. Yeah. Uh, but you, one of the things that I recall you bringing up is like, I don't want to have to clear spending $20 on a t-shirt with you, which is just not realistic. Like nobody does that. No, I mean, and, and, unless they're really hard for cash. And I, I don't, I don't think that, I mean, and, well, and uh, if, if that is the quote that has stuck out, then that's uh, uh, unfortunate. And I, I think it was more of a hyperbole than it was a, a serious thing. But, uh, but yeah, I, I don't think it's about well, clearing everything. Let, let, let me propose, cause I heard two different things here, right? Um, what what if what obviously twenty dollars is a hilariously low number to call and ask mother may I to spend on a t shirt or whatever? But you know again like like Bonnie and I had at that point at, at that point you know there's this level below which you know she has autonomy and I will whatever she buys no matter how dumb it is I will not give her a hard time because it's below that threshold or whatever. So like you know pick that number like is is there a number for you guys? Do you want to do that right now or like what would the number be? Below which you genuinely don't fi don't care if Justin actually set it on fire. My and number's probably way lower than yours. I guess that's the thing is I I, I man nothing in life so, is fucking promised so, or okay, given. So, so, so it's like let's let's start with extremes, right? Justin, let's say you came home and there was a three thousand dollar rare. Uh, eBay nesting uh, Russian doll set that that she but th they look like cockatiels and she oh no and, we'd have to have that and uh, right and and she was like yeah no it was obvious we needed it it was three grand or whatever you totally cool or a little yeah. bit like I mean it, it came out of her bank account I'm, so, I'm sorry did I say three thousand I it was ten thousand dollars that's out of her bank account I mean I, oh see no 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 that's, that's I mean weird. it's out of her bank account but now she can't cover her half of the rent. Then all right, that's fine. She's like, okay, well, and and also, I would, I would have, I would have greater. The conversation would be about like the fact that she was not able to make a commitment to me more so than the purchase. The purchase doesn't matter. Like, like the the purchase is what if uh, her heart wanted to do it, and so she did with money that she had in her bank account. The 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 conversation would be about the agreed upon. Uh, uh, thing that we had, the pact that we had, and that was being broken, and that's a violation of trust to me. So, like that, that would be that conversation. Well, that goes back. What to she wants to do with her money, as long as uh, everything that we have agreed okay, upon but is is cleared, is clear. maybe maybe this isn't the best example because it. Um, how about this? You notice six months into the marriage that not once has she spent her money. Every time. Uh, uh, she goes to Whole Foods she asks for your credit card or she tells you she doesn't want to do it and you could do it yeah. and at some point six, eight, ten months down the road you realize that you have paid for a hundred percent of the groceries sure cool or not cool cool also she's not paid any of the utilities cool or not cool we don't if have we, utilities yeah, well, we don't have utilities here <laughs> okay, but, 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 but here, no, here's no, my no, point no, I guess here's my thing yeah. If we had an agreement, uh, the only reason why I say cool to the groceries is because right now we don't have an agreement about who pays what for groceries. You know, like we are in a catch as catch can kind of industry uh, with podcasting stuff with a lot of, uh, you know, you know that it's especially in, in, in the business they call show. Right. It's, you know, you get money and sometimes you have to live off the money that you have. You know, it, it's project to project. Patreon thankfully makes that a lot more stable than it was, but it is still kind of uh, a shaky thing. That number can go up or down. And if there was a global slowdown, then all of a sudden we'd probably be making a lot less. My point is this, we don't have an agreement on, on the, on, on the groceries. If we did, then I would have a, an issue. We have an agreement on the rent. If she said, I'm not paying my half the rent. That's a conversation. Well, this is where I, I actually kind of fall with, with Brian on all this, because I would be, very, very pissed, as much as I love cockatiels, uh, if you came home with a three grand cockatiel nesting thing, even if it was just um, out of your money. 
because like largely and this has gone back to not on conversations that we've had on air but like privately like you know here we are we are building a future together part of that is involved in a financial future so like e in my mind even though we're planning on going into with these separate bank accounts like yeah it's still our money oh yeah I agree so, with that. Okay, so let, let me try flipping it on its head here. Let's take two things as bedrock. You know, you guys are getting married, and you're going to be married forever. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's let's assume those are bedrock. In that world, in a world, you know, let's say for example that you're so committed to being together forever that you gather all of your loved ones to Atlanta, Georgia, and make a promise in front of all of them that you'll be together forever. Yeah. In this crazy hypothetical world. Uh huh. Um, let's reverse it. Why, why not have one account? It's just not convenient. It's not, well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We're going to be together. We're going to be together forever. We work, it works well now, works well with our personalities. We are both strident, independent people. Uh, you know, uh, so why change it? Like, so, well, okay. let me add something really quick. Okay. So looking, looking at uh, how things are, if it ain't broke, don't fix it idea. Like, yes, we are both spending money and we have our own spending habits. How fucking confused are we going to be if we merge all our stuff together and we're just spending like we usually do or how we might judge? Like, because I don't use a fucking checkbook. I look and see, hey, this is how much money I have left, and I keep mental tally of the well, purchases I make and where like that, that is. To be honest, what you're describing is the reason I'm in favor of merging your accounts Ooh. because the system you have right now is convenient because you don't have to ever communicate with each other, and I don't think that's a good system. I think you should have a system that depends on you communicating regularly with each other about but your money. You're, you're assuming stuff, though. Like, you're saying that we don't communicate with each other. I think we communicate with each other a lot. I think we communicate with each other specifically on... That's on, on literally on, not what she just said just now. She well, said she has no idea no, what you spend, and, that's, no, and she no, no, looks no, at her own shit. That's not the case. Like, I know when Justin might be making or say, like, hey, I'm going to buy this thing off of Amazon, but if our... And I say, okay, yeah, sure, that's great. And we have a merged bank account and I'm spending and I when I use my bank account, I keep mental tally of like what I've bought and what I haven't. Or maybe maybe he Here, forgets me, me, to buy it. And then like a month let, down. Let, the, let me let me ask you. Let me ask you. A question. Sorry. Uh, fin fin finish what you're saying. Then I'll I have a follow up for Brian. My point is, is like largely while well, you might say that you're buying something like maybe you fall off the bandwagon, you don't buy it, I take it into account, there's more money or less money there based on the mental gymnastics we're doing of having to keep track of both the things that I am going out there and paying for, even though it might be coming out of the same account and he is going out there and paying for. I've solved, I've solved the problem. All right. Because your issue is that we are not in full view of the light of the one true God, R'hllor, uh, with our with our finances to each other. Right, that there is a wall for which, uh, you know, it is it is a barrier to get through. Even if we give each other our passwords, there is a barrier, and so therefore we are not seeing all of our financial expenditures and the communication that would naturally exist if you saw something and you had to bring it up with the other person because it's stuck in your craw. That happens. That that does not happen if if we have to log into something else. Let me make a proposal. I will give Ashley all of my credentials for all of my financial institutions for Mint. She can give me all of hers. It pops up. It populates right there in the same master list of all transactions. She sees literally everything that I do. And we keep exactly the, you know, we don't have to start. Because to me, starting another bank account just seems like an artificial step. I mean, it's... Like, it's Fifteen dollars a month. Um, so, so here, here's, here's my does that, response. Does that, does that solve that problem for you? It doesn't because if you start uh, there, uh, there are two angles. I'm gonna try. I'll, I'll try the pragmatic one first. Um, uh, the pragmatic angle is uh, is structurally right now. You guys are living separate lives, so you have different ledgers in your mind. My money, his money, my expenses, his expenses. Things I spend that are none of his business, things I spend that are none of her business, and that's fine for separate individuals. 
uh, I don't think, I suspect it is not from a hygiene perspective, the best way to have a team based mentality going forward, because, you know, uh, when, you know, when people invest in a business, they don't, they don't, they don't separate everyone's money into a different pile and say like, well, this is, this is Kyle's contribution to the business or whatever. And so, uh, and likewise, and the other flip side of this is poetically, do you guys plan to at 80 years old, 80 and 70 or whatever ages, do you plan to still have two separate accounts? If it works. I mean, I mean that's pretty much my thought. It, again, like I wouldn't be surprised if down the line we wind up merging sure. our accounts. Neither would I. Like right right now it's not something we need to do. And in in my mind it's just much easier for us to give each other full access to each other's accounts for now. Like I guess I'm just not married to a solution. Yeah. Like and I've heard for He's for, gonna be married and, to and me. Brian, we've had this conversation before. We're having it now on the podcast, and and I hear and understand, and I don't think any of your points are invalid, uh, but I've had conversations with Brian Ibbett, who uh, is also named Brian. That's indisputable. <laughs> uh, who uh, him and his wife, Tina, have had separate accounts and have raised a kid who is now you know graduating from high school. like, And he says, you know, up and down, it's the best thing that, like, it, it has saved them from you know, just unnecessary static. So like, man, different strokes. And I'm not saying anyone's right. I'm saying that like, what is, is right right now for us is what it is. And if it becomes a situation where I feel, and again, this is that trust tremor situation where it's like, if, if there's an element for which there is, you know, like, okay, well, now we're not just talking about, because right now all of our expenses are fairly paltry, right? Like, right. you know, we're just living a hipster ass well, lifestyle in and Oakland. And I guess that, and, that's and, the and reason I'm, like, I'm, I'm bringing it up uncomfortably right now is because right now everything is easy and that's why you got to decide on the hygiene for when things become difficult, you know? I, I, guess, I don't know. I really like that mint count idea. We should totally do that. That's fine. And, and <laughs> I'm, I'm totally cool with it. Like, and if, uh, like, I, I guess here's the thing is what I'm getting from you is that you would not think it was the same if I gave her a card for, for my, my main account and access to it on Mint, and literally the only difference was there were two accounts as opposed to one, and we thought of it as a consortium that has access to many accounts and not that we had literally one account. Like It seems like a very literal thing that yeah. you are well, pitching. Well, and and, and here, here's, uh, to put it in other words, let, let, let me put it in a positive mindset, is... I have really enjoyed the fact that for 15, 17 years or whatever, there has been no, it is simply not possible to uh, extract the Brian money from the Bonnie money. Like, uh, that's kind of wonderful. There's been no quiet the in the unity background. unity sand of money. That's what I'm saying. Like, like I derive a huge Fuck benefit and, and it, it shapes everything from... Um, uh, you know, uh, everything from understanding like, wow, you know, in my mind, 100% of it is possible because Bonnie believed in me. And I'm sure in Bonnie's mind, 100% of it is possible because I spent 15 years touring on the road or whatever. Uh, and it's like there's been a lot of joy of knowing that there's there's only one account and that it is not possible in an arrangement and a partnership of this type. It is not possible for me to spend my money without affecting her. And we know this for a fact because it's from one account, you know, and it's like that, that is a constant reminder that we are, we are bound forever and we are one entity. And, uh, and I understand for convenience sake or whatever you would do, whatever, but I, I, I question whether or not, whether or not we are really committed to this, no, 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 if no, no. we you don't know, have a single bank account. You know, no, no, no. Brian, I, I'm saying it's a helpful reminder. You know what I mean? No, I, I, I get it. Some people like anal sex. Some people like missionary. And you and Bonnie, like, uh, we'll say like missionary. single bank accounts. <laughs> single bank accounts. Makes sense. Yeah. Right on. Anal, missionary, single bank account. Sounds great. Title of the episode. Uh, emails? Uh, well, we, listen, we we're already, we're already way over, so we're, we're going to okay. save emails for next week. Uh, thank you to everybody for listening. 
if you would like to uh, have a single bank account, anal sex, or missionary sex, that's <laughs> that's going to be up to you guys. Yeah, uh, e- email uh, Justin. Put Jerry Moore in the subject line, Justin Robert Young at gmail.com. Uh, we would love to hear uh, many, many things from you. We talked a lot about money and... And uh, other yeah. things about vows. Send us uh, our vows. Um, yeah, let us know. Listen, we have a lot of questions in this episode. Like, should should we? Brian has has struck a a a righteous blow uh, yeah. for single <laughs> bank accounts. Uh, yeah. If you believe uh, in his in in his uh, argument, then let us know that we're we're doing something wrong. If not, then back us up. Who knows? The one uh, true bank. If you believe in the one true if bank. If you believe in the one true bank of her lawyer, uh, then then yeah, go ahead and rock with that. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, yeah, no, vow stuff, everything else, rings, rings and things, uh, go ahead and email us. Justin Robert Young at gmail.com. Brian, uh, from, from this conversation, is there any specific element of your online existence that you feel like people who are like, oh my God, I'm really pumped that I listened to this conversation about the nature of love, trust, relationship, and money uh, that people would, would want to find more of, that element of your personality. Yeah, I say, if you think you can find me, you're wrong. I dare you to find one podcast, one tweet I've ever made, one <laughs> Facebook post, or one website with my name on it. You'll not find a single one. Who are you I then? double dog dare you. That you're ghost. I, dude, I don't exist. No. You'll never find grid. me. You will never find me. Good luck. Brian Brushwood. Brian with an I. Brushwood, no C. <laughs> uh, listen, that's the ultimate. You, the final hack. The final hack of the system. <laughs> uh, is Brian erasing himself from the internet? Uh, Ash, mm-hmm. you got anything coming up? Uh, not particular. Just this. Uh, only human podcast. Healthy addicts pretty much everywhere. Fucking getting married on September 5th and there's too goddamn much to do. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. For real. That's real talk. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Justin Robert Young. You can email me, justinrobertyoung at gmail.com. Follow me on everything at Justin R. Young. But until next time, my name's Justin. I'm Ashley. I'm Brian. This is a show about getting married. Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> so how over is over? We're at an hour ten. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought. That's about. We're like, usually around by, just under by, an hour. By the way, I realized at some point I was playing to the audience, you know, trying to make a bigger point. Like I have no doubt that you guys will do absolutely fine with your finances <laughs> and be on the same page or whatever. But but like but but I'll, in I'll tell general, you, I'll tell you what though. Like, and you're still holding the mic as if you're on the air. Oh, are um, we not? Are we on? No, we're on the air. We're oh, we are. Okay. Hey, yeah, we're yeah, on yeah. the air. Um, Always assume you're on the air. <laughs> Always record. Always, Always assume. record. Uh, no, uh, you know what? I've talked to a lot of people that have very strong opinions one way or the other, though, uh, about the single bank account or split bank. Oh, account. yeah. No, like, like it, it is it, a huge thing. So I was totally buying into like your super like well, the here, one true bank here. Here is the part I wouldn't say on the show, but I don't mind saying on the stream is I suspect. And again, I don't know Brian Ibbett. I don't know. His, I don't know his wife. I don't know his, their situation or whatever. I suspect that couples that are really good at communication can handle the communication aspects that come because you have to, you have to, in the video game of marriage, you have to up the communication ratio if you're going to share a bank account and have that be it. Right. That, I, that's, I, I, I that, feel that's, like you that, guys, that's, that's a really, that's, that's actually a really f- interesting way of putting it. Cause I think both sides would say it's very clear that the way we do it, is the way that responsible communication people do it, you know? Because right. the people without, w- w- who keep separate accounts, say, yeah, we don't need to have forced communication. The communication that, that exists 
happens because we understand that like it needs to happen. We, we understand. I, these I proactively yeah. bring up anything because I know that it would be double plus fucked up if she saw it and and felt that I was hiding it from her. So we are an evolved species, and that's why we have double. Uh, uh, we have two bank accounts, and and you are have made eloquently the point that like no, this is yes, it will create elements of of conflict but those those elements of conflict uh you know soft or hard right will be better because you know how to handle them well and, and it's funny because again like i i please please don't think i was trying to come across as as projecting doom and gloom so much as just saying i suspect the better hygiene is couples that you know i don't know uh, uh have all the tri- you know they all have matching team jerseys and I yeah. guess I mean the, the one thing I would disagree with you is is to say that not having a single bank account equals like a a a separation of elements. Like I think that like no 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 I, and 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 I I don't think that I I, I just think that uh, uh man I didn't say that did I it was I mean like that was I felt like that was kind of the point of what you were saying no uh, my point is is if and what what I tried to frame it as was if you speak the words, right, and the vow is true, then my question was why not why not have one pool? Because you're one team for now on forever. And the, the only answer I got was, I don't know, what we're doing now works. Because and and that's, that's cool. That's exactly what my answer was. I, I know, but uh I don't know. That I mean that's that's probably not how that's probably not an answer Elon Musk would accept from his SpaceX team is because I don't know what we're doing now works is what I'm saying. Well, I mean, we're getting into a weird way to decide an argument by, you know, hypothetical Elon Musk. Uh, my, my, my point is, is if there is something that in general will cause the two of you to remain closer as a unit and more on the same page, I would probably, you know, I advise going with that. Oh yeah. And if that is what it is, I mean, I guess that's the thing is like, I really, the only thing that I think I hard disagree with you on yeah. is that there is, that there is, is that happiness lies in, a solution as opposed to understanding that there are many solutions and the best solution, uh, you know, can be changed and we can figure it out, you know? And, and, and I, I do think we'll wind up with one eventually. It's just, we, we have one now, right now. Like we, we literally, we, we, we have, we have a joint account now and we pay into it. And, and when the wedding's done, we will probably keep, uh, we've talked about that. We're going to keep paying into it. And maybe that becomes the way that, that we change that to, uh, how we pay our, uh, how we pay our, our, all of our major bills, uh, you know, and, and maybe we just pay everything in there and maybe it's just easier that we keep it there. It's like, we have a joint account right now that we started as we planned this wedding. So it's like, right uh, again, kind like, of like, messy with the podcasting stuff too, still, right? What was that? Like, it's kind of messy still with all the podcasting stuff too, right? You don't, do you have a separate account for that? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. See, okay, now this See, is that's this is thing. Like, we this need, is like, fucked up. <laughs> like, like last I checked, the government doesn't really care if married couples have joint or separate accounts. The government deeply cares whether you and your business have separate accounts. And yeah. it's like, like maybe that's the reason. It's, it's like there's the me and Bonnie account, and then there's the Brian's business account, and that's where the sh- fucking split needs to happen. That does need it. Well, we've talked about LLC stuff. Yeah. Which, on the list after the wedding. But I think that's the bigger thing. Well, but okay. Like, Jesus. All right. I'm so, are we shaming? Shame. Shame. No, all right. I Shame. mean, we, we brought up the parking tickets and the pornography. It was uh, a, and and, 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 the, porn, and, the, and the poor hey, financial you, acumen. Anything else? We want to, we can just, we can just bang it all out. Well, no, no, no. I, well, I, I would, I mean, first of all, there's no shame in the porn. There's no shame in the parking. And it certainly wouldn't be poor financial. I don't, I don't guys, find much shame in it. 
No, uh, period. No, I'm saying full stop. I'm yeah. saying objectively. I'm I'm God in this scenario. I'm painting for myself. Um, and and even the, the 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 financial acumen, I wouldn't even say is is poor. I would say, um, not even unconventional. I mean, it's conventional. Ac- you know, financial acumen. Like I'm the one advising for the nutty, the insane tactic. Well, also like the the bank stuff. We haven't really hit a threshold until recently that. We really need to, yeah, split things in a lot of ways. Like, yeah, we haven't made real any real money until really this year. I mean, this is like yeah, pretty but you much plan to right. Well, yeah, no, yeah, I mean, yes, like uh, again. Well, I mean, but every I mean, I plan to make real money in 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 podcasting stuff, and you know, it didn't. It happened to varying degrees until it happened. You know, with the night attack stuff in a whole different level than it had previously, you know. Uh, what do you want to call the LLC? Uh, Jerry Moore. The, the single bank account supreme elite squad YOLO swag 420. <laughs> I like that. Hype train. I like that one. Uh, all right. Well, thank you guys for uh, watching. Um, we need to sleep. Uh, yeah, no, it's sleep time. Uh, we'll see you guys later. Anything else? Did we forget anything? Night. Love you. Uh, the Iron Bank of Oakland, LLC. <laughs> That'd be pretty good.